hello everyone welcome to the laravel tips and tricks do you know that we can display the toasters globally in our whole application so even we are creating the clients and we want to display the success alert and we are creating the bet so we want to display the success alert so we don't need to define this two times so we can do this only once so how we can achieve this so let's watch it so i have a simple uh, project where i'm opening this dashboard so I want to display the Toastify notification. So I have prepared these CDNs and uh, let me copy this and add them into our project. So I want to display it in my whole application. So that's why I'm going to add this in my auth blade. So this auth is, uh, I'm using this auth blade in every, uh, every page. So that's why I'm adding this here. So let's uh, add this before this styles. And then let's go to the bottom and add this script tag here. Okay, move this here and here you need to add this script tag. Okay, so let's go back and copy this script from there. Okay, let me copy this from there and here I'm going to display the notification. So let me test that this notification is working or not. So I'm pasting it here. Oops, without I pasted it without any script tag. So let me add this. A script tag script and then I'm going to end this script and pasting this message here right so whenever I will refresh this web page so this will be pop-up right so let's give it a refresh and wait for a moment and 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 uh, yes it's displaying showing successfully so how you can display the dynamic message according to your desire so let's go here and here you need to type uh, like when you are uh, creating something you are going to create a session so let's go to the home controller which is responsible for this opening this dashboard right so i'm going to uh, let me go to the web.php file and show you that how I'm rendering this dashboard. So this is a dashboard which is a, a, a response, uh, home controller is responsible for this dashboard and I'm opening this dashboard. So let's go to the home controller and in the home controller I'm opening this auth dashboard and I have added this uh, simple show toast button here, right? And I'm adding this button and redirecting this to auth dashboard so it means that i'm redirecting this on the same page so i'm not going to submit any form so you know that how to submit the form so i'm just uh, shooting this for demonstration purposes so here you need to uh, type uh, request and then you need to call session so we are going to uh, display the session so i'm going to flash a message so here you need to define alert success so you can define any which you want so it's uh, upon you and here you need to pass your dynamic message so show success alert right so save this one let me go back and put a semicolon here okay save this one and now when i let me make this correct flash okay so when i will uh, visit this uh, route so i will uh, get this alert success right so let's copy this and go to our application auth blade here and here there is a blade directive which is if so you need to type if okay let me get rid of this one and here you need to type session and then you need to type has Right, so it's checking that session is set or not. So let's define it alert success and then end this if. Okay, and if, and uh, here I'm going to display this uh, toast inside this session, right? So if the session is set, so let's get the session value. So here we can get the session value. So put the, the mustache sign and here you need to type get method. And then this get is uh, responsible for getting the session value. So we define this alert success and this alert success we, uh, we are passing this here, right? So now whenever you will reload our page, so it will be displayed. It will throw this session. So let's give it a refresh. 
and on the refresh it's not going to work why because this session is not set right now no no, no it's set because i refreshed it and this is opening this uh, dashboard and before opening this dashboard it's setting this session so it means that we are displaying the notification so how we can display other notification like i want to display the danger and stuff like that so let me uh, copy this from the from this text editor and go back and here i'm replacing with this one i have prepared these three ones the alert success alert warning and alert danger so whenever you are let's go to the home controller and here you can also pass this so like uh, uh, different uh, i'm passing this uh, danger save this one and give it a refresh so it will show up show a pop-up right so give it a refresh and uh, wait for a moment and yes it's now displaying session get alert so i enter let me uh, make this correct okay so i have added this without the quotation so let me type the mustachi sign and also replace with this one with mustachi sign and let me also make this for danger okay save this one and give it a refresh so now it's going to display us with the dynamic message so it's reloading and uh, yes so now it's displaying showing success alert right so we are getting this session so where we set this session so we set this here show success alert so you can mm, display whatever you want whatever you want so save this one so it will display this uh, whatever you want so it means that we can pass the dynamic message to uh, our this one yes it's playing whatever you want so it means that we can uh, use this session so you can when you are generating uh, uh, when you are uh, throwing a session you need to define this alert success alert danger and uh, alert info and stuff like that so you don't need to define some another so you need to define there are almost uh, five to six alerts and so you can pass the message here right so you can pass the dynamic message and this will be injected here so let's go here and pass this now uh, alert uh, why it's displaying this uh, not displaying this danger because let me open this html colorscode.com so here you can get the different color codes from there so i did not edit this uh, danger color so let me add this how you can um, uh, override this so how you can change this not override this so here we are displaying our message and here you can set uh, the duration of your toaster and uh, then you can also define your color codes okay so let's go here and let me uh, copy this from there so let me also add the shade of this one save this here and uh, let's go back and give it a refresh so now it's going to display us a, a danger alert right give it a refresh and yes now it's displaying us a danger alert so we successfully implemented this in our application so if you are using a different uh, uh, so you can copy this script and you can add this in your uh, file whatever uh, where you are uh, extending your layout so you can add this in your main blade or you can also create uh, alerts blade and then you can add them there and this will work like a charm so alert success whenever you will throw this session from home controller or client controller or stuff like that so this will throw the same message uh, same alert type and then with the dynamic message so hope you will get an idea that how you can do this so uh, subscribe the youtube channel for laravel tips and tricks so i will meet you in the next one bye bye